Total Drama has an incredible number of 84 main characters. No other show has managed to have this much character development over the years. Not even The Simpsons, that has been around for god knows how long. Some people say that the Bible was written in honor of them. However, from this cast, only 5 are legitimately bad. So, from this huge roster, I've rounded up every character I truly adore. So, let's get it started. Originally, DJ was gonna have this place, but that was in my 15-year-old mind of an aspiring YouTuber. But as the years went on, Noah grew on me from being a meh character that I never understood why people like, to a mood! Noah's character is like a Squidward, a sarcastic, smart and entertaining character. The way he reacts to everyone's BS is just so relatable. His role on the Redonkulous race is what sealed the deal. It was nice having a familiar face in a new format that I am not used to, so having him to relate to is actually nice. And I could definitely appreciate him falling in love with someone, especially when his love interest is also a snarky know-it-all. It was also entertaining to see his dynamic with Owen. Overall, Noah's character has come a long way, and the many roles that he had in every season, he took part suit him just fine. Oh, Bridget. A simple, cute girl that doesn't care about her looks. That's an ideal GF, if you ask me. Although I don't really appreciate her always making out with Jeff, Bridget's personality is the one that I really like to see. She is true to her beliefs, but is willing to bend a little for her teammates. It's also worth mentioning that her clumsiness might come from the fact that her skills are usually for when you are on water, and it adds entertainment value to this character. I feel like there is a lot more to this character that is worth exploring that we never really got to see, like they've kept on saying that she is an athletic character, but we hardly ever saw her making use of said skills. I'm guessing that from what we got to see from Island, Bridget is a great character, and it's hard to move her away from my number 4. In spite of her looking like a comic relief character, Lindsay has proven time and time again that she is a strong character. And you know, a character that could potentially win to run action? I don't know. I still hope that one day Lindsay will be coming back for redemption. Her character was always such a joy to watch. One of the things that Total Drama Action did right is give her time to develop independently. I don't get why the writers made the grips lose almost every challenge. Because I really like when Lindsay takes charge and tries to lead the team. Not saying that those episodes are good though, but as for another video. Other than that, Lindsay is an absolute pure soul. She might be the stereotypical blonde girl, but she has proven many times that she can be a smart person. Remember when she almost won the challenge all on her own and then was eliminated? Sad. Or even that time where she kept DJ in the game? Lindsay might be remembered as a dumb funny character, but her small characteristics are what gives her character depth and prevents her from just being one stellar character. Just being one stellar character. That, this is a tongue twister. From being just one stellar character. There, I said it. Something that later generation cast members can't say they do. So yeah, hashtag justice for Lindsay. While writing this list, I came to the conclusion that I have no clue why I like this guy so much. But every time I watch Total Drama Island, and Island alone, I always find so much appreciation for Trent. I don't know, maybe because I like the color green and the fact that I really, really enjoy the love relation that these two had. During the time of the Screaming Gophers, there was the drama between every female character, Cody stalking, Owen constantly farting, Izzy being crazy, and then there was a nice boy that has a simple crush on the goth girl. I think that what stands out on Trent is his simplicity. He tries to keep his team together by taking part and helping as much as he can. I think even Heather saw that he wasn't that useless. Notice this moment in If You Can Take The Heat. <sighs> Trent, you and Owen are on rips. It's like, at least there is a little hope in this team of losers. And TBH, the most dramatic scene in Total Drama, Trent had a part on. Unfortunately, his character was completely killed in Total Drama Action. One final thing worth noticing about Trent is how he gets injured so severely and in the next episode he's ready to help the team out again. He's so resilient. In the end, Trent is a simple character, but it's his simplicity that makes me like him. Side note, did you know that counting team challenges, Trent has won 9 challenges overall? You just can't write this stuff. Thank you. 
through my many views and reviews and re-reviews and re 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 reviews of Total Drama, I haven't found a character that I can identify more than I do with Courtney. Yes, she was a total brat in action, but that season had more than that as an issue. In Total Drama Island, Courtney was a kind character when things were cool and a complete psycho when things got heated. This trait is something I really can identify with. I'm usually the person that when one of my friends falls, I rush right over to help. I don't stop and laugh and point. In school and, unfortunately, in college, whenever there is a group project, I'm usually the one taking charge and leading my group to higher success, even though I completely hate group projects. Ugh. And I'm not afraid of cutting my colleagues out if I see they are dead weight. Another thing I like to be is organized. Clarify and organize my thoughts and goals nicely before I go after them. But the reason why I love Courtney is in this. When I was head of the school debating team, my partner walked out on me during the biggest debate of the year because she felt I wasn't being a team player. I went on to win it without her. Take that, Brittany Reed. This photo is a reminder. If you want something done right, you do it yourself. This whole segment has inspired me ever since I was a 15 year old. Yes, sometimes there is power in numbers and you don't really need to always do it alone. A lesson I've learned in college, thank you Sophia. But I've learned from a very young age that aside from my mom and dad, the only person that at the end of the day is gonna be there for you is you and you only. And I think that is a beautiful lesson to go by. The lesson that Courtney tries to teach. And this lesson I've played in my head has really struck hard this past month when for some reason the views of my channel grew eight times bigger. Sometimes you can do it alone, without the help of anyone. Sometimes you are powerful on your own, and if your content is good, it will be appreciated. This 2500 milestone is a big goal for me, and the fact that I got these many subscribers through the force of my work is the reason why I keep on going. So, thank you for the inspiration, you guys, and of course, the character court. These are the reasons why I'm such a Courtney fan. She is a cartoon character, if not the only, that inspires me. And to all the people that have subscribed to me, I have to say, thanks. I'm glad you came along. PARTNER!